says, this is a story of, of Jesus and his disciples. And you're going to see this whole scenario that you and I have been talking about, about this worldly person and this spiritual person come out in full light in this interaction Jesus has with his disciples in Matthew chapter 17, verse 14 through 18. It says like this, when they came to the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him, he said, Lord, have mercy on my son. He said he has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. I'm sorry, I just felt the Holy Ghost on that. How often we have been those disciples. Church, let's be honest. How often have we been those disciples that could not heal? Jesus replies like this. Oh, unbelieving and perverse generation. Jesus replied. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked the demon. And it came out of the boy and he was healed from that moment. Jesus highlights two problems. And this is what we need to hear. This is what we need to hear for tonight. He said, unbelieving and perverse. The question was, why couldn't the disciples heal? Jesus said, because they are unbelieving and perverse. Unbelieving means not connected to God. Unbelieving means there's a connection issue. That's what it means. Perverse speaks directly to the fact that we're too connected to the world. Too connected to the world. They couldn't do the task. They couldn't lay hands. They couldn't minister. They couldn't advance the gospel. They couldn't advance the kingdom of God. Why? Because they're not connected enough to God and too connected to this world. Son of Ashaya. Verse 19 continues. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked. Thank you, Pastor. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, why couldn't we drive it out? <laughs> and he, he replies, because you have so little faith. I tell you the truth. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. This is Jesus speaking. We don't need to mince words. This is Jesus speaking. This is not a conflict of doctrinal interest. This is Jesus speaking. This is what he says. He gives the answer. In the first few verses, he highlights the problem. Unbelieving, perverse. He's about to give you the antidote. Are you interested? Here's the antidote. He says, but this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Now, I grew up in church, and for a long time, that was just a tricky way to get me to go pray and fast more. I didn't understand what Jesus was addressing, but now I'm about to give to you what the Lord has given to me. Because the first problem is unbelieving. In other words, you're not connected to God enough. It's a connection issue. Well, prayer connects you to God. Problem, solution, Jesus directly addresses it. Then he said the other part was perverse. Well, Jesus said fasting. Well, what does fasting do? Fasting disconnects us from the world. So Jesus does not mince words he says, this is the problem. 
you're not connected to me enough. You're too connected to the world. You want a solution, then you need to be more connected to me and less connected to the world. And that's what we're going to be getting on during this Bible study. Last verse, Romans 8. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. Somebody shout hallelujah. For if you live by its dictates, you will die. But if through the power of the Spirit, and we're going to be going here, friends, because this is the area that we have limited God. But if through the power of the Spirit you put to death the deeds of your sinful nature, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. In other words, you get full family benefits. You get full family benefits. 